What's going on guys? Danny from Slow Restoration. We have the Denali Ultimate here. Uh, we're getting ready to do another modification and we plan on doing some pretty good trips with this truck. So we need some way of hauling without getting everything wet. So I don't absolutely love a tonneau cover. However, we have one. So we're gonna put it on. This is a genuine GM parts accessory. You can order it actually right from your GMC app or your Chevy app, and then uh, pick it up at the dealership or have it shipped to your house. It's actually a very nice cover. Um, it's foldable, it's hard, it's actually painted gloss black, and on the underside here, it actually does have carpet. So. I'm hoping it's going to work really good for us. Like I said, I, I'm not 100% in love with a bed cover, except we do need it for taking trips to keep our luggage dry, of course, when you're on the road. So it is what it is. I'm hoping it's, uh, I know it's foldable and it's stowable in the open position because I do plan on uh, towing with this truck with fifth wheel. Here's the hardware kit inside that box. Put that over there. It looks like it's got some clamps and uh, weather stripping and directions, all that good stuff. Do have the other box here on the side here, and it's got the uh, the rails that actually attach to the truck. So we'll get these pulled out and set aside, and we'll just get everything opened up and prepared here. Now, one thing to mention, this thing does have some weight to it. So it is gonna add a little bit of weight to the truck. Um, it's a 3,500, so not a huge deal. I'll give you a quick peek here. We'll actually hinge this thing up and there is actually the glossy black finish. Uh, it's actually so glossy, all you can see is the top of my garage ceiling. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to unpack this, but it is aluminum panels and they are painted gloss black just like the truck so i think it's going to look really good so this is all, all of our parts kind of unboxed these two big pieces were in that cardboard box there very first step they want you to do is actually take these side rails and install them on the truck pretty straightforward you're going to use these clamps right here that we haven't opened yet but we'll open them up and three clamps per rail and these little crush pieces here are right where the clamp goes. So it kind of, one there, one there, and one there. So, and this little piece here is actually the drain for the water, and that will go towards the cab of the truck. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, the way they go on, we'll get them set up there. Uh, before we even do that though, the second step is actually going to be, uh, well, uh, installing these rails is actually, what, three steps here, four steps, and then it takes you to assembling that front panel with these little clamps. And this bag here actually has little, little connectors. We'll open this up. There's four screws and these little plastic connectors that have a snap. So when you fold the cover, it's got a retaining clip strap and that's what that hooks to. So we're going to go ahead and assemble uh, these pieces on that front panel before I even do that. And then we'll be, um, we'll be ready to set that piece on as soon as we get these side rails on. So we have our pieces here and our screws here. The screws do have a sealant on them and we're going to actually kind of place them right in their spot here. Just simply goes on like that. It's tapered so it kind of sticks up and then we can take the screws and go from the back side here and just get them started and hand tighten them. You don't have to go crazy with this stuff, just make sure it's snug. With those bolted down, tightened up, our next thing is to put these pieces here on. Um, got a carriage bolt so you loosen this thumb screw up get that carriage bolt to stick down and it actually is going to go right here so you're going to line that carriage bolt up depress the weather stripping slightly and just kind of put that in 
So it'll go in once you, there's a locator right there on the plastic piece. And then for right now, we're just gonna loosely tighten this thumb screw up to hold that in place. But when you put this on the truck, that will actually go over and that's what connects this whole front assembly to these side rails. You can jump up inside here. All these clamps are the same. So like I said, there's three per side. We'll set three on this side, three on this side. We got our side rails slid in. And again, the drain is right there. The drain's gonna go towards the front of the cab and the weather stripping piece is gonna be towards the inside. So pretty much it's gonna set on your side, the plastic cap there. We're gonna slide it all the way up to the front and that is where it'll sit. It's not gonna stay itself until we start these um, clamps and they say to start the center one first. So let's give that a shot. So with our rail, again, sitting up there and slid all the way till it touches the front of the, the bed. We'll take one of these clamps, bolt's gonna go out towards you and we're gonna start it right here where this crush piece is. There we go. I'll show you a close up of that, but pretty much you're gonna put it on, hook up the back side there and then go in front of this crush sleeve and then go back on it. So once that's there, we can kind of hold that in and I'll just lightly touch or uh, tighten this up and that, that holds it. So we'll get our other ones placed in. I'll give you a close up shot of that goes right in that groove centered right on that uh, crush sleeve there. So with both sides put on there, loosely tightened up, we're pretty secure. Uh, we can still adjust everything a little bit and that's how it should look tight against the front of the bulkhead on the bed and flat against the, the side there. Next step is to put our weather stripping on the front of this bulkhead. Mine does have the spray and bed liner so I think it'll still stick. Everything's clean. It's got double-sided tape here. They don't give you much of a directions except place it and cut it to fit. Went ahead and got that put on there. Like I said, just kind of keep it even there. And the bed bulkhead does kind of dip in there. So you want to make it make sure it's flat against there. That's what's going to make the front of the seal. So stuff doesn't come in underneath the tonneau cover. Um, this is really the only thing it's semi-permanent. It's double-sided tape. It will come off obviously, but there's no drill holes anywhere. There's no nothing that's permanent in this whole installation. So with that done, the next step is actually go ahead and grab that whole assembly and that piece, the, the aluminum piece up front where we put our sliding clamps and those little tabs to lock is gonna go up here towards the cab. These are slidable. We want them back off the edge because that's where that side rail will attach. And then here's our clip with our screws holding it in. And that's how it'll look when you first lay it down. Again, this solid aluminum panel is towards the front. It kind of, this actually hinges up at this point too. So you can hinge that up. Um, this little piece here kind of stays inside this part. So this weather stripping will actually goes over top of that weather stripping, but that's good enough for now. And we're gonna gently fold this thing down, cover the whole bed, probably go ahead and shut the tailgate and then just adju adjust this thing side to side, front to back to where it looks correct. We'll look as we go, make sure it's falling down inside there. So we're coming this way a tiny bit, so we'll go over. It does have uh, pull strings here and latches that will go down. And we'll hook them as we go. You can kind of see how that thing looks. Nice gloss black. We're going to keep going here. These are just for shipping, so we'll remove these as we go and we'll get that last panel. Be careful as you're putting this down and backing up. You don't want to step right off the back of the truck here. And as you're working here, uh, the, this pull tab is what releases your safeties. You can see that moving there as I pull that. And at this point, these are not tight on the side of the truck. So they will move around. See how it's kind of bent down. So we need to actually pull this and push that down to get it to latch. 
just so we can finish eyeballing this up and making sure everything's adjusted the way we want it. One of the selling points is you can still use your tailgate with this up. So let's go ahead and put this tailgate up. Yep, goes right through there. We'll make sure that's latched. And then we'll just come through here and make sure everything is. This has been folded up in the box, so it'll take a little bit to settle all down. Um, we're just gonna go around, make sure this thing is centered before we tighten anything down. Once you have it all centered up, uh, again, kind of pay attention to your gaps here. This is all overlapping weather stripping, so you can't so much go by that. I guess you could go off these stake pockets and make sure that lines up, but I'm looking right here, making sure that matches right here. We need to come this way a tiny bit, um, and then opening and shutting the tailgate. There is a little piece of rubber weather stripping here, so you, you can't have that back any further than where the tailgate comes. So. Uh, just kind of use your best judgment and to your liking. This is somewhat uh, tailorable to your truck. So just make sure it's square and in position and then we can actually start tightening everything up. So I'm happy with my side or the way this is set up. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these back clamps and tighten these up and work my way forward. So the easiest way I have these back snugged up. You can see how that pulled in and now that is straight there. So is the way this release cable works you can pull it from either side so if you're standing on either side of the truck it controls both sides but if you pull that and lift up obviously that works nice and smooth comes down you can hear it latch on both sides so we're good to go there we're going to fold this to the next segment and go ahead and tighten those center clamps up fold it again we'll tighten our front ones and then we have one more set of clamps to install we have one more to go. This one you gotta be kind of gentle with. Uh, you don't want it to go back and hit the cab. They do give you these little support rods to hold that. So these side rail, these struts, uh, they're not struts, they're just bars. So there's no shock there, but you pop them down from there. There's a little tab, I'll show you that in a second. I don't know if you saw that or not, but there's a little, we'll show you on this side since it's attached pull it down hinge it up little thumb screw or adjustment here and you can click that right on to pull it off obviously you depress that and pull up so now we have that in position everything squared up go ahead and tighten these front again you don't over tighten any of this stuff um, that gives you a guideline of a torque spec but it's pretty much just snug them up you will have to check that it is compressing a weather stripping seal between the bed cap and the side rail so you will have to go back and snug them up a little bit but for now we're all good with that we're going to loosen these up by hand we'll slip that over we got to loosen these pretty good in order for that to fall down enough so it goes over that rail so we had these snugged up and see how much i had to loosen that up and pops over now you can take and lightly snug that up so that's all that's really holding this whole cover on until you get these latches here as you go but that's all it's really needed to so that will as this goes on it may it determines your front to back to some degree too i don't know if you can see this in here but this plastic drain this gray piece is all the way up against that so if we were too far up this would not go on so with that nice and tight now we can actually check operation of this we're gonna disconnect these holding this so it doesn't fall into the cab and then we can fold it all the way down and make sure as we come back it stays square so this side comes off one side will sit there by itself and then we'll grab the top of the cover here pull this off reconnect that and then gently lay this down once that snaps in then we can grab the next segment here and again gently lay it down this one doesn't have as much weight so we'll pull that you can hear that snap right in and then we'll do our third and final segment here again watch 
backing off here. You don't fall off the end of the tailgate here. And you can see that pops right down. We are, we are off a little bit as I went back, so I'll have to re-square this up a tiny bit. We need to actually go that way now. But it's some trial and error. Once you get it adjusted, it just operates and works fine. Closes nicely. It's got a rubber seal that goes up against. It does stick up a tiny bit there, but that's to give your tailgate clearance as you come through there. If it was too tight, that would hit and bind so you couldn't drop the top part of your tailgate down. But as you can see, we're nicely sealed up in there and we'll go over and make sure everything's snug, everything's still square, fold it up and down a couple times and uh, we'll call that good. Um, if you just need to roll it that far, so we have about three quarter of the bed uncovered, that's what these are for. So we can pop that off and adjust that strap there. Snap that in and cinch that tight. And that will ride down the road like that because we're latched here and we're connected here. That can't move. Of course, there's one on this side too. We'll adjust that real quick. So technically, we could ride down the road just like that if need be and have something tall st st sticking out of the back here. I like it so far. Again, it's not my favorite thing to have, but if you're gonna take road trips and you need some dry storage as you go, it's kind of your only option unless you put a cap on. I definitely don't want a cap. I want something very easily removable. So if you did wanna remove it, uh, we undid this again. We pull this second or this last segment, fold that up, and for right now, I'm gonna latch this rod just so I can show you without fear of it falling. And so, if we were gonna remove this whole piece off the truck, we would undo these some screws on both sides not have this hooked up and we could lift this whole tonneau cover off the truck and just set it to the side these rails will stay here they're not hurting a thing uh, and you lose this whole thing so if we do pull fifth wheel or gooseneck that's probably what i'll do i'll get rid of that whole thing so obviously your rear view camera here is not going to work in this up position but that's just something you'll have to deal with. They do give you some drain hoses here. Uh, these aren't incredibly tight. If you're pressure washing this thing or go through a really hard rain or a car wash, whatever, you're probably going to get some water on the, the edges. So there is a channel here that diverts that water and it comes all the way up front. So again, there's these spots right here. We'll take this tube, kind of press it work it around on there get that all the way up on there that's your drain tube um, they don't really give you a spot to put these unfortunately so water will come out of these if it gets down behind there and into that channel it's all tapered to where it will come out here so if you, mine has spray and bed liner if you had a plastic bed liner it would be a different procedure um, but with this there are some drill holes in the bed up here for drainage um, they tell you to drill it out bigger and put that through there. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to drill my bed. I'm not going to cut into that bed liner. I'm just not going to do it. So I'll probably end up getting a plastic piece that pops in there and then this will attach and that will drain that right out. Honestly, I think we could probably, now that I look at it, we could go right in through there. So as long as that doesn't go uphill, if we were to shorten these a little bit, run that right over, that would drain down through. And that's where like your stake pocket is. That's why these panels are here. That's what I'm gonna do. I just figured that out right here, right now. So we'll pop these access panels off and just trim this up, put that back behind there and it'll just drain out. The only other box we have here is this. And this is kind of a cool accessory. So we'll pop that there. That will go over on this side and it's actually a bed light that's battery powered. 
Now my truck does have, and most of these trucks do have LED lights inside the bed, so we probably won't honestly use that, but we'll show you how it works anyway. It pops open here. And pull it out. It does come with some batteries, some AA batteries. And it's just pretty much an LED light strip with a power pack. So here's how you take it apart. The top just kind of pops off with these little clips on the side. Put that to the side. It does have kind of a battery cartridge in there. That's kind of funny. It's got a 9 volt plug, but then it's got a cartridge. It takes these triple or double A batteries. Pop that in and there you go. Pretty bright. Once that's again in there, that'll definitely give you some light. Pretty much you take and slide this little plastic end cap off the back of that. Covers the whole back of that. Just slides up. Once we get to that crush sleeve behind that clamp, it just slides that up. We'll leave that in there. They say you can remove that, but no need to. We'll just leave that in. And this will keep sliding in until we get to this little metal tab. And then we'll have to actually loosen this Phillips screw up, uh, which will get us clearance. We'll slip this the rest of the way in and then just snug up on that screw. And that will keep that from moving around. Because we have the multi-pro tailgate here and it gives you this assist handle, it's actually hitting that bolt right there. So not a big deal. We can still use this light if need be. I'm not going to because I, I just don't think we'll, I'll ever use it. But um, we would end up taking this clamp off, pushing this through by raising this rail up slightly and pretty much taking this whole light assembly and putting it in front of this clamp. Um, and reusing this crush sleeve for there. So end up making this up here. So you'd have to reach a little bit further, but again, I'm just not even gonna use it. No big deal. And there you go. Installation complete. Again, we did not install the light. I just, with the LED lights already inside the bed, I think it's kind of pointless. It is a gloss black panel, so you'll have to really be careful. You can uh, scratch and smear them up. They are aluminum panels also, so they will dent easy. They do have a little bit of waviness to them. If you can kind of see across the light there, there is some waviness to them, but overall, it's a nice solid panel. I don't think I would walk across it. I don't think it's that kind of panel, but it should keep things uh, dry and out of the weather and out of sight too. So the only way to open this is to actually uh, open a tailgate and and undo your latches and obviously if you lock your tailgate then this cover is locked. If someone really wants to get in there they will get in there. So let me know what you think. Do you like it the cover on? Uh, I'm all right with it uh, especially being gloss black and the trucks gloss black it blends in and once we have it laid out, that weather stripping should relax a little bit. It'll do the purpose. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.